Yo, what's up guys? Your boy Nigel here. Welcome back to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So, um, it's been a while since I made the last video. I've been busy like usual. However, um, unfortunately this video isn't, doesn't seem to be a good news kind of video. If you look over to here, um, as you can see, uh, on this Reddit post, uh, I was linked this, uh, by one of my Discord friends. And, um, it says here, Snowbrick is giving a 5-star select to players who bought any skin before the 30th of August. So, obviously, I'm going to be part of this, and you can too. Um, the date of this recording is on the 27th of August, and so there's still a few more days until um, you can get a 5-star selector. Now, I'm not sure what kind of 5-star selector it is, but we're going to be taking a look at this uh, now. Uh, I'm not sure where this is from, but um, I, like I'm not sure where this is posted from, so I can't really tell for sure. But let's just go take a quick read. So, analysts to thank everyone for their continued companionship and support for I guess that Snowbreak Containment Zone. We will send analysts, so analyst players, uh, a special character extract self selection box via email after the adjustment and update of some character costumes take effect on August 30th. You can choose the public beta 1.5 version character from it. The extracts can be used to unlock characters or develop character apocalypse. This cell selection box will be specifically provided for analysts who purchase any of the following categories between server launch and August 30th. So any character costume, including combination packs, um, character costume in the selected goods store, Oh, so that's from this is the um this is the when you do when you buy monthly and then you log in each time and then you get the currency to buy stuff in the shop. The, these are the skins that they're referring to. Any previous version of the superior certificate self selection distribution box. Uh let's see. Okay, so the optional characters, so the selector includes Wild Hunt, Fenny Coronet, um, I'm not sure which one this one is extract for sure silence oh probably marion swift winter solstice oh no marion swift there winter solstice acacia kaguya chen shing oh um haru moxie shadow car test the magician um katya So I'm not sure what extract for sure silence is. I don't really remember. Oh, Frisha Hush. There you go. Okay. So it's only up until... Uh, up until Cartier. Or up until Tess. Either way, it's not really it's too up to date. Um, I guess the only character that I don't have on this list will be Chen Xing and Haru. So I'm going to be deciding between those two. Um, let's see. In order to ensure that the analyst can successfully obtain the new Cartier Blue Flash costume adjustments, we will extend the character acquisition time limit in the distribution conditions. All analysts who unlock the character before the 2.4 is given away can obtain this new costume. Thanks again to the analysts for their continued encouragement. Okay, so from the looks of it... Um... I'm not too sure if they're going to completely replace the Katya skin, like her base skin, or, or I guess maybe for new obtainees of Katya, perhaps it might be the new skin, but if you already had Katya, it's going to be like an optional skin that you can use, probably. So, um, let's see, let me see if I can find anything else on this. All right, so this is the uh, the Twitter post version. I mean, on X, this is like, oh, this is English as well. Um, let's see. Oh, they will be making them available again for a limited time. For adjutants to purchase. Oh. Oh my God. Indefinitely removed. Oh, this is so smart. So basically... Buy them now before it's too late. Oh, that is so smart. 
that is a massive cash grab. I mean, hey, <clears throat> you gotta do what you gotta do. I might, I might be falling for for this trap. To be honest. That is crazy. Okay. Damn, that is pretty big. The seas of sale will not impact your ownership or to use the outfits if you already purchased them, nor will it impact the related covers or avatars unlocked upon purchase. Okay. For Ajitas that have purchased the current advanced ultimate powers out uh, Oh, okay, on a special tab. Okay. The following pass limited outfits will be indefinitely removed from the Stellar Pass after the update. So I have to start if like if I wanted these outfits, I'm gonna have to wail until before the end of the month. Oof. Culture appearance changes, design draft subject to change. Okay, that is a lot of text. Oh, all adjutants who have made any quartermaster limited time outfit purchase or battle pass outfits for a time within the game version 1 to, will receive a special commemorative Frisha Little Sunshine Leafy Secret outfit. Okay, so here look. So for example, Katya is going to be changed. So this is her original skin. This will be the new outfit. Huh. Okay, well, I mean, so, so from no belly button to with. Okay, well, it's not final design. Um, these are also, I guess they're showing the skins or something that are being affected or something. Wait, what, what, what's with this? What's that? It might just be, okay. But yeah, it's just like an appearance, an appearance changing, changing thing. Uh, I think they got hit by the uh, regulations because uh, apparently they are Peggy 12 in the Google Play Store. Um, so yeah, I don't know why they chose that, but you know, Peggy 12, that's pretty young. But yeah, uh, let me, I'm gonna, now it's time for me to go into the game itself just to see what's up. All right. Um, let me see if there's anything in the notice section here. Nope, operative ups. Nope. Oh wait, hold on. But yep, this is yep, it's right here. It's also in the in-game notice. Here are all the different characters that you can get in the selector after the update on the August 30th. So so all the standard characters and then all the event characters up until Cartier. So pretty old selection. Um, in terms of new characters, I can choose between Haru and Chen Xing. So you guys can let me know in the comments which one I should get. Now, from what I was told in the Twitter, there is... What was I going to buy? Oh, uh... Not here, but let me just get these for the daily. Otherwise, you might forget you have it. Uh, if go to the quartermaster. Let's see. Not this one. Not this one. Wait, it doesn't seem to be listed here. I think. Oh, there it is. Here it is. So all of these, all of these skins, two days. So we have this one, this one, this one. Oh my god, look at these prices though. Ain't no way. So as you can see, all of these will be gone. But yeah, it is pretty crazy. Okay, well that's pretty much about it. Um, yeah, it's like, <sighs> well, to be fair, as as I as I mentioned, um, let me see if I can find an image to actually show you. Uh, 
I mean, I was shown this on Discord as well, but you can check out for yourself just in case if you don't believe it. As you can see here, Snowbreak Containment Zone. If you zoom in, Peggy 12. So like, I mean, you know, it can't be helped. I mean, that might be part of it. Um, there are talks on Twitter saying it's like, just like due to usual um, censorship regulations, that kind of stuff. Um, my opinion on this, to be honest, I don't really have an opinion. Apologies for wasting your time. Um, as long as it doesn't really impact the game too much, I think it's okay. Because they did mention that it's not really going to affect those that already have the skins. It's just going to affect how things will play out uh, on from the future. Now, technically speaking, these skins are already pretty risque. So are these going to be getting taken down as well? We'll never know, but probably, you know, pretty high likelihood. But what I'm thinking about is that how come this outfit is 128? Like this is like the most expensive skin that doesn't have any interactable scene. There's no uh, weapon skin as well. Like look at this one. Look at this combo pack. 118 has skin and weapon. And then this one, only skin. That is crazy. But yeah, um, hopefully, you know, they'll do something in terms of like, if they, they'll just decide how they want to go about it. Um, one thing that they could do um, is increase the, um, increase the age rating. I'm not sure how, how the laws work when it comes to, you know, increasing age for a game that is already out i'm thinking it can't be done so it's probably why they're doing it this way um but yeah at least you're not at least they're not taking stuff away if that makes sense they're just trying to fix things up they're trying to patch things up now and then move forward from there um in terms of the gameplay it's not really going to be affected by uh, this change because it's mainly a visual thing so I'm not really too fast in that sense but in terms of the design the potential design change in the future I think people might not like that moving forward but you know I don't really mind too much um, but yeah let me know what you think down in the comments below I just wanted to report on this fortunately I don't really have much of an opinion I've just we just wanted to show what's been going on and I haven't really been doing the event, which is pretty bad of me. I should actually be doing this like basically right now, to be honest, but I'm not really too late. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions in regards to Snowbreak Containment Zone or anything in general, do let me know down in the comments below. It's been your boy Nightstorm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.